Hello! The video you are about to see contains images of dolls only. Hello, Hello everybody. everybody! It's Saturday, so it's Lacey Lou time. <laughs> now, it must be a brilliant week for you because you've broken up off school now, haven't you? Yeah, I've broken up, I've broken everything up, I've broken the floor and the wall and the table and all my storeboards, I've thrown them all out the window. Oh, don't we know it. <laughs> well, it wasn't me, it was Icky. Oh, if you don't watch Icky every minute of the night and day... I know, I thought you watched Icky. Oh, I know. And as I say, it's been a good week for you all in all. What's been happening this week? Um, I've been playing a lot with Ever Rose as I've been doing my lessons over there. They got air conditioning. It's so hot. I don't like it, neither does it. But Mummy says that we mustn't be sad because it's not hot here very often. So I've gone over to Ever Rose's to do my lessons. And I've done all my usual things and watch cartoons. Ah, yes, the cartoons. We've been hearing about cartoons from you morning, noon and night, haven't we? Me, Daddy? No! Not morning, noon and night! Yes, we have. No, no. <laughs> so, tell us why we've been hearing so much about cartoons. Well, it's only a new cartoon I found that I like. And what is the new cartoon? It's a cartoon about a princess and it's called Sophia the First. Sophia the First, well that sounds great. How did you find out about it? Well, it was like this, Daddy. Auntie Nicole in America, she's got a little girl too and her name is Lyndon and she's my friend. And it was Lyndon and me talked on the magic phone. You know, like Alfie and Caleb talk on the magic phone. Oh, yes, yes. Just before we had our little summer YouTube break uh, over the last couple of weeks, um, we were talking about the different babies being on the phone, including Alfie. Yeah, so Lyndon and me was on the magic phone. And, and Mummy was talking to Auntie Nicole and, and, and Amanda, and they were saying, had I seen Sophia the first? Well, we told him that she told me Daddy at first because he saw not on Netflix over here. That's right, but uh, Bert came to the rescue. Bert took Daddy on his iPad. So he got it on his iPad and then I watched it. And it was really, 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 really wicked. So then the next time I talked to Lyndon, we talked for ages and ages and ages about Sophia. Oh, I heard. I didn't hear every word, but I came back about ten hours later. <laughs> it wasn't ten hours, Daddy. It was pretty close. <laughs> and uh, Sophia the First, she isn't an ordinary princess, is she? No, she's not, Daddy, because her mummy and her used to live in the village and they worked in a shop. But then her mummy fought in love with the tin and her, the tin fought in love with her mummy and they got married. So now she's a princess living in the tarsal. And does she have any brothers or sisters? Yes, she does now because the, 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 the tin had children. So she has Amber and James. Now I've heard that, uh, did you say it was Amber? Yeah. I heard she's a little bit spoiled, is that right? She's a bit naughty, Daddy. She's a bit naughty. I like to be a princess, princess things, like Amber likes, like Tarawas, and all pretty dresses, and dancing, and doing all princess girly things. But Amber's a little bit spoiled. She's a little bit like Oh, goodness me, I remember Lingwin. We don't talk about <laughs> <laughs> and uh, where do they all live then? They live in the land of Entrancia. I don't know where that is. Is it away, away, away? I don't know, but it sounds lovely, doesn't it? Yeah. 
Sounds a bit magical. It does, doesn't it, Daddy? It does. And um, where does she go to school? She goes to school at the Royal Prep Academy. Oh, Academy. That's what I said. Pretty close. <laughs> so, the Royal Prep Academy, is that right? Yeah. Okay. And isn't it true that Sophia can do something really, really special? Yes, she can, Daddy. I thought so. She can talk to animals. She can talk to animals. Yeah, she, she's got this magical. Uh, what's that thing, Mummy? What's it called? I think you mean an amulet. Is that what you mean? Yeah, the magical amulet. The amulet of Alvar. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> amulet of Avalar. Look, even I'm having to get into it, so I'm getting over you better than you go. The amulet of Alibar. Alibar, well, whatever it is. Anyway, she's got a beautiful necklace that is absolutely gorgeous. I want a necklace like that. Anyway, and it glows, and it lets her talk to animals. Well, it's better than Dr. Doolittle, isn't it? Much better. She has all these lovely animals that she talks to. Oh, lovely. That's, that sounds great. A bit of a gift as well, isn't it? Yeah, very special. I wish I could talk to animals. Hmm, but everyone has their own unique gifts and talents, and you've got some. Do you think? Yes, I think so. Ah. <laughs> now tell us something about Sophia's special friends. Oh, well, that's what I was just going to say. She's got some really wicked friends. She's got a bunny rabbit called Clover. And that's funny because it's a man bunny rabbit, not a lady bunny rabbit, but his name's Clover and he's really nice. Oh. And then she's got two little birdies, a robin told Robin and a bluebird told, um, Mummy, I can't remember. It's not called Bluebird, is it? No, it's not. It's called something pretty, but I don't remember what it is. It's called Mia, precious. Bluebird's called Mia. See, I told you I knew more about it than you did. I know, you, you're doing really well, actually, if I can say so. <laughs> I have to. I've been listening to it for the past week solid. <laughs> yeah, that's the name. That's the name, Mummy. And that's a pretty name, isn't it? It is a pretty name. Yes. If you could be Sophia, what are some of the things that you would really like to do? If I could be Sophia, well, I'd like that pretty dress she wears, that pretty purple dress. I really would like that. And I'd like her to wear and I would really like her necklace, because she's got the prettiest necklace. But whenever they go out somewhere, Sophia and her brother and sister and her mummy and daddy, they fly. They go in a royal coach and it's got flying horses. And Sophia's got her own flying horse, Daddy. He's called Minimus. And I would love to, to go in the coach with the flying horses. I bet that would be cool, wouldn't it? You could get to places very quickly. Yeah, we could go over the sea all around. And I could get to see Lyndon and Auntie Nicole then. I was just thinking that myself. Yeah. <laughs> Now, um, there's a lot of uh, this cartoon, isn't there? A lot of episodes of it. I don't, I don't know. I, I've only seen about... Oh, I don't know. Ooh, how many have I seen, Mummy? Well, you've seen about getting off a of 20, darling. Quite a lot. <laughs> ah. Well, um, Mummy will be glad to know there's lots and lots to go. Yes. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Now, one of the things that I have uh, heard as I've been sort of coming to and from and listening to you uh, watching these cartoons of uh, Sophia the First, I've heard the music. The music's quite good. The music's really, really wicked. And, and I love learning bits of the song and singing them and singing them on the phone with Lyndon and, and all that thing. It's really cool. It's extra good. It's extra good. <laughs> now, you've been talking about this cartoon, as I say, all week, getting really, really excited about it, talking, talking, talking about it. What particularly do you like about Sophia the First? Well, I like the stories, Daddy, and I like the music, like you said, and they're all lovely and nice, and they always, there's no fighting. And there's no nasty things happening. It always turns all white in the end. And I like that. 
but I like it that I don't know whether I can say this, but it's all about good things, about being good and being happy and being kind and how if you're a princess, it's not about what you look like or what you wear or what you do. It's about um. What I mean, Mummy? Do you mean it's about what's inside you? Yeah, it's about what's inside you. It's about being a good girl and, and doing nice things to people. Well, that's always a good uh, lesson to learn in life, isn't it? It is. It's like what you taught me, Daddy. You, Even if you're not a princess, you always got to behave like a princess. Isn't it, Daddy? That's exactly right, yes. <laughs> and you always do, don't you? Mostly. <laughs> oh, she does. She, she does, does, don't you? She's our little princess, aren't you? And just to finish up with you, can you tell us what you want? You asked us for, for your birthday. I want, I want either a Sophia dolly or Trover dolly, and and I want a Sophia Tate. That's all. And not lots of things. I know I did ask for lots and lots of things, but I don't want lots of things. But if I could even just have a Sophia Tate, it would be nice. Because your birthday's not far away now, is no, it? No, it's September. That's right, so uh, only a few weeks away. No, not too long. Well, we'll have to see what we can do, won't we? Yes. <laughs> good girl. Right, OK, we'd better go now, but that has been really good. And uh, some people might start watching it, you never know. <laughs> it's been really, really good. I'm ever so glad to be back. Well, we're all glad to be back, and we're glad to have you back. Hopefully you'll come back next week. All right then. Do you want to uh, finish off in the way that we always do? All right. Well, we'll see you again. Take care of yourselves and enjoy your babies. Bye bye. And let's, let's be, be good, good to each other. Bye.